allemaal, welkom bij de laatste aflevering van 2016. En in deze aflevering gaan we deze hele mooie fotocarousel maken. Ik heb hier even een foto erin gedaan uh, als voorbeeld. Wat ik jullie even wil zeggen, ik ga dadelijk ook even wat in het Engels zeggen. Dat komt omdat er een aantal Engelse dames uh, aan deze workshop meedoen. En uh, om het voor iedereen duidelijk te houden, doe ik het dus ook even in het Engels. So, hello uh, ladies. Um, today we're going to make this carousel and I put uh, already a picture in it so you can see how it becomes when uh, you put the pictures in. I have uh, more pictures inside but they are a bit personal so it's from our wedding day. Um, the only thing you, you need is cardstock and design paper and a, a few paper straws. You need uh, in total uh, of three. I know the uh, paper straws are, uh, you can buy on eBay or online or in shops in the Netherlands. They are not very common to uh, uh, us, so that's why I tell it uh, to you that you can purchase them on eBay. Uh, wat ik gedaan heb met die, uh, want ik heb dus papieren rietjes gebruikt. Ik heb ze dus heel simpelweg gewoon door de helft geknipt. En ik heb dat op het oog gedaan en nadat ik ze door de helft heb geknipt, so I cut them in half and I did it uh, by eyeballing. Nou, you see, it's not so very <laughs> bad. <laughs> and then I make sure that they all were uh, as long. And then when it's all finished, you see me make it uh, further in this episode, uh, I put them all around between those uh, frames so that's what I need of uh, that's what you need to uh, be able to hold up the lid of your uh, carousel dus uh, het enige wat je nodig hebt zijn die uh, papieren rietjes en die houden namelijk de deksel van je carousel omhoog nou je ziet wat er bij mij gebeurt is die plakparels die zijn losgelaten daar hebben er twee uh, afscheid genomen dus die moet ik nog even vervangen maar in de aflevering ga ik jullie dus laten zien hoe dat die in elkaar moet. En uh, je hebt dus alleen maar gewoon papier. Kijk dan, hij is echt eigenwijs. <laughs> ik moet dat even met hete lijm doen, dan gaat dat beter. Um, het enige wat je dus nodig hebt is hete lijm. Uh, ja, ik, ik heb heel veel met scoretape gedaan. En ja, nou ben ik natuurlijk ondertussen zo'n tutje dat ik dat... Uh, pareltje eraf gaat peuteren. Hier is een parelgeval. Ik weet niet of jullie hem zien, maar uh, die plakparels, ik weet niet wat er is, maar dat is niet uh, echt uh, tof materiaal om mee te werken. Ze vallen er heel vaak uh, bij mij in ieder geval af, tenzij ik ze met hete lijm vastzet. So, um, we are going uh, further and I show you what the parts are and how uh, to put all things together. Dus we gaan nu alle stukken bij elkaar en in elkaar zetten. En dan ga ik jullie laten zien hoe dat die wordt. Tot slot, um, deze frames, deze witte dingetjes, die heb ik er los in zitten. Heb ik heel bewust gedaan. Dan kan je hier je foto opplakken. Maar dan kan je dus ook die frames eruit halen en wisselen. Dan hoef je dus niet foto over foto te plakken. Ik zal het ook nog even in het Engels zeggen. Um, To be sure that you understand me correct, I have put in these white uh, layers. Uh, they fit exactly in those pockets and I did not glue them down, so they are loose in the carousel. But this way you can uh, glue the picture onto this white piece of paper and take the whole frame out and cut a new frame when you want a new picture in it. So you can interchange uh, pictures. Gaan jullie mee? Dan ga ik jullie laten zien hoe dat die in elkaar moet. We beginnen met de frames. Uh, we start with the frames. Um, and with the frames we make them like this. I have cut them out six times. And I will show you how to put them together. Nou, als je de frames uh, erbij neemt, dan moet dit het worden en uiteindelijk plak je dan op de buitenzijde nog de tape erop, maar dat is later. Uh, when you have the frame, uh, frames finished, uh, you put tape on both sides and then uh, later on when you stick them to the box, uh, you can 
discard the backings and put it against the box. I will go further in Dutch. Hoe moet je ze in elkaar zetten? Het is voor mij even wennen dat Engels en Nederlands door elkaar. Uh, sorry, ik weet dat het misschien een beetje irritant kan zijn voor de Nederlandse dames, maar er zijn zoveel Engelse dames die graag, uh, of Engels sprekende dames die graag meededen, dat ik uh, besloten heb om het uh, in twee talen te doen. Want ik kreeg zoveel aanvragen van een groep van, oh, wij willen hem ook graag maken. En toen dacht ik, ja, maar anders moet ik hem en in het Nederlands en in het Engels opnemen. En vandaar dat ik gekozen heb om het dubbeltalig te doen. Het is de laatste van het jaar, dus ik denk al dat jullie me dat kunnen vergeven dat die dubbeltalig is. Nou, en dan haal je dus overal de achterzijde vanaf. En dan krijg je op een gegeven ogenblik dus zes frames. Uh, als die nou open blijft staan, net zoals dat die nu bij mij doet, maak je daar niet druk om. Als je de tape op doet, dan gaat die vanzelf sluiten. Als je de tape er dus op plakt, doe ze ook een beetje maar bij elkaar en plak dan de tape erop. Uh, when your frames uh, are standing open, just like the mine did, uh, don't worry about it, uh, put... Uh, Another layer of paper over it, or just the tape is enough to keep uh, the angles together. And when you put the designer paper over, nobody will notice th that um, you did not stick the corners down. Now, as you have six, when you have, have six of those, I'm not going to put them all together because uh, it's six times the same. Then we are going to make the base, and the base is, I put everything in envelopes, so I know which parts I need. The base uh, has, how do you call them, octagons, or sixtagons, of, I don't know in English exactly, but there is a large and a small one. Oftewel, there is a kleine and a grote. They all work the same. Uh, you have to make uh, this piece two times, one for the box and one for the lid. Deze moet je twee keer maken, één voor de box en één voor de deksel. Wat je doet is je vouwt alles nadat je je tape erop aangebracht hebt, vouw je alles dubbel. En als je dat gedaan hebt, dan haal je dus simpelweg die randjes eraf. En wat ik altijd doe is ik draai hem om en ik zet hem er zo aan vast. I always turn it around because then I can see the, the score line and I can put this line against the score line. So that's why I'm doing that, like this. And then you have to put all the pieces to the edge. Oftewel, dan moet je alle stukjes tegen de randen aanplakken. Zo, en dan ga je helemaal rond. The reason why I always make double sided is because then the box will be extra strong. Nou, jullie weten dat inmiddels wel de reden waarom ik die dubbelzijdige altijd doe. Zodat de box extra sterk wordt en extra stevig. Ik hou daarvan. Niet dat je moet bang zijn om hem op te pakken. And when you put the last flap on, then you can start and closing the box. If you hear something beep, that's my printer. It's cleaning itself and it has an own, uh, own life, I always say. Sometimes it's a bit annoying that you are concentrating on making your cut file. And then uh, you hear an annoying beep from the printer. But I can't shut it down, else I have to every time the plug in and out of the wall. When you have folded on all score lines, then you put the box like this together. Oh, I forgot to fold this one. And it works very easy. Just press down really good 
and when you have pressed it down, it's fine. These flaps are now, uh, I pull them back, but you have to stick them on the inside, but that I will do when all the sides are closed. Ik heb ze even terug uitgetrokken, die zijkanten. Dan heb ik wat meer bewegingsruimte met mijn handen. Maar die gaan we dadelijk naar binnen toe dichtvouwen. De tapejes verraden het eigenlijk al. Nou, dit werkt eigenlijk precies hetzelfde als uh, het deel met de taart die jullie gemaakt hebben in de vorige aflevering. En... Uh, Er is dus niks nieuws aan. Ik laat het heel bewust zien. De een vindt dat wel prettig, de ander heeft zoiets van ja, ik weet het wel. Nou, dan heb je het voordeel van het filmpje dat je hem gewoon lekker door kan spoelen. En mij niet ziet hannissen met die doos. <laughs> I cut my nails too short today. <laughs> That's always my problem. I always think about my nails when I cut them too short. And when you have that finished, then you pull all the backings from the flaps. And when you have that klaar hebt, dan haal je overal hier de tapejes vandaan. En dan plak je hem naar binnen toe dicht. And then you stick the flaps inside. This way the sides of your box will be more sturdy. And when I pushed all the flaps in, I take my bone folder and press them down really good. I never saw uh, a very good use for a bone folder, but since I have one, <laughs> I think about it differently. Almost there. Zo. Zo. I will push them down with my bone folder. So I know for sure the tape will get stuck. And then you need the small one and glue the one inside so you don't see all the ugly uh, glue tabs in the inside the box. I will discard this paper. <laughs> I always make a mess, but I think we all do. Um, the frames you made are going to be like this. So I have one with tape already on it and I will show you. Uh, if you like, it's it's a possibility, you can stick them down already. What I will advise you is the sides with the uh, edges where you can see that it's not, uh, how do you say that, where you close it. I put them down, that's nicer to see. And they will fit perfectly on each side. I will do both of them. I have to look on which side it was closing on this side. So here I pull down the tape. Dus wat ik je aanraad is de zijde waarbij je ziet dat je dus die openstaande hoekjes hebt gehad. Mijn advies is plak die tegen de box aan, dan zie je er echt helemaal niks meer van. Dan lijkt het echt één geheel. Oh, don't push too hard like me. <laughs> Then you push in your frames. It's sturdy, but don't push too hard. And then you go all the way around with all six of your frames and put them like this. Then a really hard and annoying part of the uh, box. This one I made 
this is uh, the circle on the bottom of the carousel. Oftewel, deze is de bodem van de carousel. I have made this four times. So what I do now, you have to do four times. One is the top, one is the lid. One is the top, one is the lid. Um, I made these things and these are to make um, the bottom nut collapse in. So th this, these pieces, sorry, this piece, these pieces. English is very hard when it's not your common language. <laughs> But maybe it's my uh, way of speaking it that it's made it hard. You put them together with a bit of glue and fold this one over. Put this one against this one. Pull one over and push this one against this one. And then these two together. Then you get uh, an X. When you have done that, you fold the sides like this. I do one in advance and I show you how it will look. I forgot to put on all the tape, so please forgive me. It's just an ugly thing, but you won't see it when your circles are closed with the top and the lid, but it helps not to... Um, make it collapse inside because when you put in something heavy in the middle it's always nice to have something that supports it I will fold over these tabs and then you have something like this I will show you it's not cooperating you see Please don't pull as hard as hard as I did. And then you have a cross. Th this cross you have uh, of you can glue in the middle of your circle after you put the edge on. And I will show you how to put the edge on. Uh, put the edge on. Oftewel, dit kruis, jullie kennen dat wel, dat doe ik bij meerdere boxen, die, die kruisen erin maken. En die kruisen die zet je op deze. Nou, hier heb je weer een grote en een kleine. Dus de kleine die is weer voor straks binnenin. The, you have a big and a small one. Take always the big one as your base. The small one is always for inside to uh, make it nicer and not seeing all the tabs. Then you take one of those strips, those long strips. I put already tape on it. And really, I promise this is the most annoying piece of the whole box. And it's too bad you have to do it four times. But I thought a rounded one made, made it really pretty. And I could make a, a, an octagon. How do you say that? Is that is six octagon? I don't know. I think so. But what I do is take piece by piece off from the backing and glue it down. You can take multiple pieces off first. It saves you a bit time. But when it sticks, you risk that your paper is coming loose. Oftewel, je kan als je ervoor wil kiezen ze stuk voor stuk loshalen. I know this is annoying to watch, but stay with me. I always make a fight with my score tape. And and these this is for me a dummy and um So when I explained how to put everything together, this is going in my bin. So no worries, I'm not going to make it nasty like I do now. When I make mine, 
I always take my time and do it more carefully. Nou, we zijn er bijna. En dan hebben we nog maar de helft gedaan. Dan moeten we de andere helft nog. Zo. Then we are halfway. Then you take the tape of this side. Oh. Take the other strip. First push back all the tabs. I think that's the most easy way to do it. And what I did was making three tabs already loose. That way there will be no, uh, not so much tension on the other strip we already put down. So then you slide it in, glue it down, and then go further around like we did. So when you have this finished, I'm not going to finish it because you already, I think, I'm uh, knowing what I'm going to do. Then it's it's going to be a, a bit crooky. Uh, dus het zal een beetje golven. Maak je daar niet druk om. Don't worry about that. Then you put, uh, put in your cross. Sorry, first put in this. Yeah, so you don't see all the tabs. And then you put in the cross and glue the cross down. And then you put over the lid and uh, put a little bit glue between uh, the edge. And it will stick on its own. And then you have a round disc, a flat round disc. And there are two. As I said, one with uh, a top, one with a lid. And uh, when you have them finished, you can stack them together and put the base on the frame. Um, I first have to move everything here because else there is too much junk on my desk. When you have that finished we are starting with the top. The top is coming out of these pieces I will show you. My silhouette uh, was not cutting very well with one part and I made uh, a fake cut line. You see it, it skipped a bit but I hope this works so I start with the most nasty piece. I think I was planning ahead and my silhouette was of had to work too hard. So, then you put, pull back this backing, fold it, and glue it to the other side. I don't know if it wants to fit, but then you know where each piece goes. Because he made a mistake, I think. This one of mine won't be as nice as yours. But when your silhouette is finished cutting them, please look if he cuts and scored it nicely. My silhouette uh, die sloeg over tijdens het snijden van die snijbestanden. Dus ik hoop dat hij dat bij jullie niet doet. Als hij dat doet, zorg dan dat je even een nieuw stuk snijdt. Want geloof me. Als dat niet mooi zit, dan past die straks ook niet mooi in elkaar. Nou, zoals jullie snappen, zal dit de top gaan worden. Always those tiny pieces. You can skip the video if you are almost most falling asleep. You can a stukje doorspoelen als je al in slaap valt. 
Ik weet het, het is vervelend om naar te kijken, maar op die manier laat ik wel alles zien. Zo. Zien. Yes, that's the nasty thing of tape. When you want to correct it, it can't be corrected. And the last one. see you've got the top see this is the first one I started and it was not cut great but okay it's going in my waistband bin anyway so I don't mind but I hope when you see that yours is not cut great you will make a new one see it even made a bend here okay when you have the top together turn it around and then you have this piece this is a very important piece you put I forgot to put a little bit of tape on the end so I'm going to do that as fast as I can. Like this. Take off the backing. And put this towards the other side. Dan heb je dit deel nog. En dat moet zo in elkaar. En dan haal je eerst al die tapejes hier vanaf then you first take all the tapes off oh the backing from the tape and when you did that please make them bent and push them back oh not so far as I did. <laughs> the girls who follow my workshops know I always make these dumb mistakes. Jullie weten inmiddels wel dat ik altijd van die rare vergissingen maak. Then you push it in and push on the inside. I hope you can see it. Push them down. So pull it in as far as the score line and then push them down I will show you the inside right away but I have to look at my score points or score lines so then you have all them put together or stick them down then this one you will push forward you can do it with tape or with uh, liquid glue. It does not matter as much. Then you take this piece, the, the little rounded piece, take off the backing. Push it like this and then you glue this top onto the rest and add you can push with your fingers the glue down and then you get the nice top then these two these two long strips with the bows these are two long strips with the golfjes you plug them together you glue them together and then I have two long strips attached and I hope we'll do this I hope to do this nicely but then you can 
glue them. I have to bend this one first so I know where the where to start. So and this is for the sides of your carousel. See now mine is going not great. It's always the hurry I, I hate when you have to look at things that are not interesting so then I'm going to hurry and then it's always going wrong and then you take the other piece away you can glue this with uh, a tape as well or see now my would not fit I'm going to cheat a little bit because I started out wrong And then you put it together. Because mine is not nicely cut, I'm not coming out. See you? You see? So uh, don't worry. Your cut fall will be more, much nicer than mine. But I had to put all the paper in to make a dummy. And then. The last piece, and that's a very important piece, this, this is the piece that goes inside this box and is going to carry your lid. It works the same as the bigger one we put together. So score on all the lines. And I will do my best to do it, to do it as quick as possible. And then you put it together just like the other one. So a large one and a small one, always take the large one, just like I told. Dus, now heb je al die kleine stukjes, even de scorelijnen omzetten. So it works exactly the same. Werkt hetzelfde als natuurlijk die binnenbox. There's always one is giving you a hard time. There's er altijd wel een die je oh, die je het even moeilijk maakt. Zo. So, and then you put on tape on these flaps and put them inside again just like you did with the other box the more higher box I did not put any tape on it but and when you have that finished you put in the last piece so you won't see all the glue edges then you have 
six of these little rectangular pieces. Dan heb je nog deze zes stripjes. En wat doe je ermee? Je zorgt eerst dat op elke kant tape zit. Je vouwt ze goed dubbel, zet ze in de hoek. En please make sure you put your box onto your table and then push it in the corner and glue it to the side of the box. So they will be attached like this. So all six you have to do like this. I will do three. So one tape you pull off. And please put them in the middle of the entire side. So please in the middle. These tabs are to... I will show you. I think that's easier. Deze flapjes zijn om deze deksel vast te zetten aan de deksel die je uiteindelijk op gaat tillen. Dus die, die zes flapjes zijn heel belangrijk. Nou, en als je dat gedaan hebt. Wat ik gedaan heb, ik heb een kopje of een, een pot gepakt. I, I took a cup of a, or a, a pot that I can, I can uh, put it down like this. And I don't have to carry it. Then I pushed it in the middle and glued down those flaps like this. And then you have your lid carousel. to your... And then your carousel is finished. And then you can decorate it just like you want. Sometimes I use dyes to dress it up or uh, flowers. Uh, in this case, uh, my husband would uh, uh, told me he would uh, like to have it. So that is why I made it in blue. I hope you like the, the carousel. Uh, I hope everything is clear. But when it's not clear, please, uh, you can always send me an email. Ik hoop dat alles duidelijk was. Ik uh, hoop dat jullie het leuk vonden. Ik wil jullie bedanken voor het uh, deelnemen aan alle workshops in 2016. En ook natuurlijk weer voor het aanmelden voor de workshops in 2017. Voor all the um, English speaking ladies. Um, I do these workshops weekly. And if you like to participate uh, in my online workshops, you can always send me an email. Uh, and I will explain. Have a great uh, day and thanks for all. Ik wens je allemaal een hele fijne dag en bedankt voor alles. Groetjes allemaal.